So we have step one, where the SSH client generates SSH keys and exchanges its public key in green with the SSH server. The SSH server adds that public key to its database and generates an encrypted message that it then sends back to the client. The client then decrypts that SSH message using its own private key and confirms the identity of the SSH server. The client then responds back to the SSH server with another encrypted message confirming the identity of itself to the server. After that, the encrypted communication tunnels between server and client starts. So that is a lot of high level theory. Let's walk through a practical example. Thankfully, I've already gone over this through chapter five. So we're gonna refer to past Steven and he's gonna take care of you guys and explain with an example how this works.